So it wasn't until I actually went into the detention center and I went through the whole process and what fed into moldy food, burnt in there, abused, um, that opened my eyes to the America that I thought the land of the free. How free really is it? It really, to me, it really feels like a zoo. We're just trapped. And you go to the zoo and you're mute. You see everything. You see all these animals in there enjoying themselves, but you also see they're captured. They're not totally happy. You know they're suffering. They're being separated. They have babies. They take them to another spot. They're moved around. We all see it. We see it on the news. We see it like, oh, a giraffe just had a baby. The baby's being moved to Chicago. It's being moved to Africa is being moved to anywhere in the world. We just see it, we enjoy it, and you know, we move on with our lives. That's how I feel. I'm that animal that is caged in there. And it happens and life keeps on moving. And it, it really sucks. And that's how um, right now I'm a kindergarten teacher. I'm, I've been a teacher for over eight years. And going through the whole process uh, made me open my eyes to the real America, to what's really happening. And it opened my eyes even more once the new president got elected. Then I'm like, wow, like, how can that even be possible? Because he made it known. He said a whole bunch of stuff, but he still won. So I felt like everything was going backwards. Then I visited Mississippi. I was like, oh, you know what? No, <laughs> it, it is. It, it's just. It's just been very unfair because I just want to live. And people tell me, go back to your country. You know what? Technically, Mexico was here first. Just saying. <laughs> but I, I did go back to my country because I thought, you know, like I said, I live in the American world. So I thought, you know what? Let me go back to my country. Let me get my papers. Let me fix everything. And I'll be set and I'll be okay. But it's not that easy when, to me, having that social or that label U.S. citizen, that is like the golden ticket to go into the real walking factory. If you don't have that label, you're not welcome anywhere. I can't even fly to, if I was in Mexico, I can't fly to Canada because I'm not allowed to fly over the United States. I have to go to different areas. You can't just, you just can't. When you go in there, they treat you very inhumane. Just so that way you realize that, hey, this country is worse than the country you're coming from. So why don't you go back? Yeah, when I, when I had to sew my own pants because they were red, I kind of realized, like, oh, you know what? And then one person brought my attention, CCA, Concentration Camps of America. When I heard that, I was like, wow, that makes total sense. We are really being beaten here. We're being abused. We're being threatened. We're being verbally abused. We're being drugged without our consent. We're being neglected to the doctors. We're being forced to sign documents that we don't want to sign. We're being forced to be sent back to a country we don't want to be in because we're scared of death. We just want to leave, live. That's what I want to do. I want to live. I want to have a family. I wasn't going to have a family, and I knew the only place I could was in the United States. <coughs> Because I, I grew up here. So I came here and I married and had a good life. Well, I'm still fighting through it because I'm still not documented. So that's, that's my story. <laughs>